Sharks have become pop culture icons. They've had their own blockbuster movies. They have their own week. And at the pinnacle of pop, they've had six of their own NATOs. Now shark popularity has dropped low. It's actually hit the ground. Here's Ali Ward to explain. For centuries, people have joked about reinventing the wheel, the implication often being it's not possible. But guess what? The joke is on them. When both of these are rolling, this one is rolling like a steamroller. So anything that you hit, it's either gonna have to go over it or the thing is gonna try and embed into it. Ours is not that way. Everything this strikes, it hits it at an angle and tries to kick it out of the way. It's similar to taking a speed bump at an angle rather than straight on. This is hitting things straight on, an angle lessens the shock. This is David Michael Patrick, skateboarder, chief innovation officer, and inventor of the shark wheel. I drove to Irvine, California, where I met him to talk about wheels reimagined. What are some basic differences with it? What makes it so unique? If you put a mudding tire on the highway, it's gonna make a lot of noise, a lot of friction, and get terrible gas miles. You take a skinny one and try and put it in the mud, you're going nowhere. You got no grip, you got no traction. We've got both. We have a wide tire with very little friction. So when you're on a hard surface, we roll like butter. But when we get in the rough stuff, we grip like crazy. The shark wheel is rolling into industries ranging from skateboarding to luggage, golf carts, heavy warehouse equipment, agriculture, and even printing with tape that can turn a traditional printing wheel into a shark wheel keeping the paper centered. What is the shape of the wheel? It's hard for me to wrap my brain around it. When you put it inside of a box, it is dead flat on all six sides of the box. But then you take it out and you look from it straight on and it is a perfect circle as well. This thing rolls and it not only rolls, it rolls like how a human walks. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. If you connect the dots, it's a sine wave. That's how a snake moves, that's how a fish moves. Depending on which industry the wheels are designed for, they're made from different materials. For skateboards, very complex, expensive polyurethane is used to allow for exceptional rebound. For agriculture, cheaper polyurethane is used, and for luggage, they currently use PVC. Can you explain to me kind of where the energy goes on these wheels? Does energy go in different directions? Does it dissipate? Is it used differently? Friction is a thing, okay? And friction creates heat. Heat is something that has to be dissipated. We roll very cool and low friction. That heat then dissipates off of the wheel rather than being stored in the wheel. That storing of the heat in the thing is what destroys it. Do you wish that a wheel like this had existed when you learned to skateboard? Absolutely, because one of the things we do really well is we kick little rocks and things out of the way. As a kid, that would have saved me a million little <laughs> scrapes. 